This is AppChasers.com. Today we're going to take a look at how to save movies and music from JW.org onto your iPhone. Now the app we're going to use to do that is called Documents and it's by an app development company called Readle. You can see Documents here on our screen so let's go ahead and open it and we'll show you what to do. Okay, now this is the view you're going to see when you download the free application called Documents. The neat thing about Documents is it has a browser built in. That's in the lower right hand corner. Let's tap on that. You can see we can drag this over here. We've got google.com open right now, but let's go over into jw.org. So we'll clear out the address bar. We'll type in jw and then we've got a nice org button here. We'll hit go. And now you can see we're on jw.org ready to download. Uh, videos or music. We can also download PDF documents. Really any kind of document can be stored in documents by Readle. So let's scroll down here. Let's go to the children's section. We'll tap on that. Maybe we want to download one of the children's videos here. So let's scroll down to find one of those videos. Here we go. Become Jehovah's Friend. Now when we bring that up we'll see our videos button right here on the left hand side. So let's click on videos here and now we'll be able to see all the videos that are available on JW.org for children. So let's say we go into Jehovah Created All Things. So we'll click on that. It's going to bring us up to that page. And now we want to download this video so that we can save it to our iPhone for use when we don't have an internet connection or if we just want to play it uh, at any time without going back to the website. Now you can see here there's a download section under the video here on the right hand side and it's got a few different resolutions that we can download this video in. Let's just do uh, 360 just to show you maybe a medium resolution. We'll touch on that button here that says 360p. If we hold on it, we can choose to download the link. We can also just tap on it and we'll show you what that does. Now in Documents, it brings up a nice uh, window here that we can rename that. So we'll just say uh, Jehovah Created. There we go. That's an MP4 document and it's going to save it to our downloads folder. We can also change that to save it to our documents which is the main folder here in the app called documents. So we'll hit done and uh, we'll hit done again and now it's downloading. How do we know that? We can click on this button in the upper actually in the lower right hand corner we'll click on that and we can see that our video is downloading right now. Now you can also do this for songs. So let's go back to our songs section here. Actually let's download uh, maybe one of the songs from um, Sing to Jehovah album. So we'll go back to our homepage here, jw.org. We'll go to Publications button. We'll scroll down to the Music section here. So there's Music. We'll click on that. And now we can download one of the songs uh, from Sing to Jehovah. So let's scroll down here, Music for Christian Worship. We'll scroll down. We'll click on maybe one of the albums that we want here. So we'll hit the uh, MP3 button and that little headphone icon. All right, now here we go. We've got the different songs. Let's tap on one of them and see what happens. All right, it brings up that same screen here to save. So let's just save it as a song here. It's an MP3, which is proper format for music. We'll hit Done. Now on the lower right hand corner we'll tap on that and we'll see that our song's downloading right here. Now where are these songs and videos actually being downloaded to? Well, let's close out of this. Now we'll go back into our documents view. Right down here at the lower left we can switch between documents view and our browser. And we'll scroll down. Now we see we've got our video here, Jehovah Created. Looks like our song's probably still downloading here. Ah, here it is. Actually, you know what? It saved it to the downloads folder, uh, which is right here on the main page of documents. So you can change that 
We'll show you how to do that. I like to save everything right to the uh, main documents view instead of the downloads folder. That way I can see it come up right when I download it. To do that, let's go into our settings tab at the bottom. It looks like this little gear. And now we'll go into our file manager. Now it says download files to downloads directory or we could ask for a directory and I like that option here because that'll ask us every time where do you want to save it. So that's how to download music and videos from JW.org onto your iPhone for use uh, whenever you want it. No matter uh, if you're on the website or not, whether you have internet connection or not, it doesn't matter. You can download and watch these videos at any time. This has been AppChasers.com.